Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to another Who Is That Indie? Today's indie is the Deck of Ashes. Basically, this is a turn based card game similar to Slay the Spire with a few differences which we'll be going through as we play the game. It's currently alpha slash demo, so there's only one character active. Like this one, I have to get him later. We only have Lucia the Eternal Flame who has burned alive for releasing the Ash Curse on the world. So she didn't do very well. Let's begin. So a few of the differences will become very apparent but I will but I will have to talk through them. Also there is no voice acting right now as far as I can tell. But that might be in the future. I'll have to check the list. So, since the dawn of time, people with a magical gift and a target on their backs, we instill fear. This is her voice now. Slightly snobbish man. And fear breeds malice. I learned to conceal my talent the hard way. I really should have listened to things. I trusted my fiancé and revealed my secret. And that same day, I was laying in the mud, surrounded by a mob of bloodthirsty loons. Rusty pitchforks and blazing torches pointed in my face. That day, I killed for the first time and gained a text. Yes, I managed to escape and join the outcasts. A gang of hardened pariahs like myself, wherever a righteous anger took us, we settled the scores in blood. When we broke that damn box and released the ash curse, the simple folk blamed the mages. The witches. The witch hunt ensued and a weak hand pathway ended up at the stake. Yeah, so she released a plague and a curse and got burnt. I was burned to the cheerful cries of peasants, but those turned into screams of terror as I suddenly rose from the ashes. The curse gave me power. It made me one with the flames. The flames of retribution had swallowed my offenders. The curse gave me power, but it played a twisted joke on me. The pain I suffered at that stake, it stayed and defiles every moment since my rebirth. The Prophet. He found me on his own. He assured that uh, he assures that Lady Death can rid me of pain. If this is true, I will make her do that. He asks me to kill Lady Death, and he says that it will break the curse. So there is a story. The curse has been released, and she will break it. This world is full of scoundrels, and I enjoy watching their torment. But if you're getting my peace means ridding them from the curse as well, screw it. Let it be so. So that's the rules, you are trying to kill Lady Death to release the curse which she has released upon the world. Devils are bold, we are now in the lair of the fiend. The curse, famine and death push mere mortals to bargain with demons at every crossroads her demonic recruiter is waiting, anxious to take your soul's possession. Deep mines, caves, this land is but a thin blanket over the underworld of demons. Imps, suck you by your fits, those are the most harmless vermin residing here. The crossroads keeper oversees the business of soul bargaining, but he only closes the most lucrative deals himself. He'll be frothing in the mouth when we stop at any crossroads. Sticking to the road is suicide. He'll strike the f at the first road fork. Taking a roundabout path across the demon's land, thanks, but no thanks. We pitch camp here at the fiend finders. So, how this works is there is a camp, as you can see. You have the Ash Master. So, skip through this. So, you start off with a few basic cards. We have him. The blacksmith can craft new stuff, as you can see, with these special items. You have beginnings of, say, eight cards. I have five recipes. You, you get a recipe, and you turn it into a card. Now you have the battle deck, which are your active cards, and the deck of ashes. The difference between this and Slay the Spire is, when a card is used, it is turned to ash. You cannot use that card again, except after the battle, where you gain rest points. Rest points can be used to regenerate a card or give yourself health. Or if you have money, build a new card from your list of recipes. Now, during an actual battle, because obviously you will run out because I only have eight cards, you can spend health to regenerate random cards. So yeah, you do want to have a good selection of cards, so you don't have everything in the deck of ashes and have to spend the last of your life to kill something. So obviously we have the blacksmith who can do stuff like this. What's this one? When this card is played or discard, deal three damage to a random opponent for every sacrificial skull you own. 
deals for 600 damage to an opponent. Strain will heal you. Reduce to Ash deals one. Deals one damage to an opponent for every card your deck of Ashes. That'll be useful for the future. Let's take that one. Let's grab you. I use 20 of my Ash. So that was Ash. The triangle is Ash. Regular cards are 20. I think like rare and legendary is like 40 and 60. You can also obviously go to the Ash Master. You can renew all cards, as you can see. So you can come to him. You can burn cards to get rid of them. And you can also upgrade things. Obviously, I don't actually have any upgrades currently available. You also obviously go to the Merchant and buy new stuff. I don't have the coins for it, as you can see. So this, as you can see, as long as this card remains in the deck of Ashes, you have a bonus effect. So this one you want to discard to Ash and not regenerate because it gives 5 damage to a random opponent when any card is discarded. So you kind of want that one to be in the Ash. This one heals you when it's discarded. So yes, yeah, so you want to have some in the Ash and some not. This also just gives healing. Got to cure things, get extra stat bonuses and upgrades. So you can upgrade heavily, but you have to go out into the world. Now, there isn't an enemy boss per se. You don't go out and hunt the enemy, the enemy hunts you. When the meter becomes full, the ruler will come to the will find the camp and battle me. So you may strengthen your character beforehand. So I want to find recipes and stuff like this is a random, this is a chest I can unlock, this is a battle, battle, battle. So yeah, you want to obviously get as much resources as you can before the ruler of the local area meets you in battle. So you can't just say go to the north and find him. As you can see, this is the current map we have, which is randomly generated because it looks nothing like my first two tests. And as you can see, things get tougher the further away you are. Now there's random events, random things do happen, sometimes stuff happens up again, and let's start a battle! So just like Slade the Spire, you have points in the bottom, my mana, I have five per turn. As you can see, most of these cards require three, one, three, two. Now, as you saw, let's see, what, what's he going to do to me? He's going to do, apply his poison. Let's hit you with a fireball. Uh, Phoenix, when this card is played, it is returned to the battle deck and burn you. So yeah, I'm going to get poisoned, that's going to be annoying. I can also return things to the bottom of my battle deck. Obviously I kind of want all of these. That is good for certain things which the enemy can give you, like debuff cards and so on. Okay, let's hit you, let's see what we've got. Deal and damage for every card in the deck of ashes, that's not enough yet. Hit you with that, burn you. Now remember... For every card I am using, it's going to Deck of Ashes, it's now unusable. Unless I activate it at the end of the battle using my Rest Points. Now I might also want to use my Rest Points to make my cards. Or to give myself my health back. Because again, you can do that, that will heal me. Let's throw the fire. I can't do this, why not? What have you done? Can't be targeted by cards, how dare! Uh, let's heal myself up then. Okay. Freeze. See, that's a problem. I now have that card. That one I'd like to turn to Ash. Ah. What have I got? Okay, let's hit you with a fireball. Charge. Next turn, your mana will be reduced by one if I draw. Oof. That'll be five damage for now. It's five. I hit them with that. Gain stealth again. Ugh. This one is counting down to slowly remove my ability. Thank you very much. Let's get rid of you. Oh. Let's get rid of you. So yeah, you need to get more cards to do more power, but obviously you don't have the issue of if you have too many cards, you won't get the ones you need at the right time. Ah, it's back again. And there it is. There's the Ash Pact. 20 damage for 5 random cards to be renewed. Obviously, I don't want that to be done. Uh, slowly counting down. I shouldn't actually be releasing it, should I? Yeah. Okay, let's do fireball. Actually. Torch. There we go. And when you kill things, it shows you what I'm going to get. I didn't get any keys, but I got some ash and some money. So I can craft things if I feel like I've got four cards left. And this card is displayed or discarded. And this card is played or discarded. Deal three damage to a random enemy. So I can discard it every time. 
Every sacrificial skull you own. I only have one currently though. These are all strain. Got all the cards in your hands if I don't have a card for every card you discarded. Let's build you. So as you can see here, I have built that. I can now give myself some health back and I use one of my rest points. I have five left. So let's try and renew things. You, 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 and Oh, that one was a two point, so I'm missing a fireball. I can now let's extract resources. I got a little bit of nice stuff. So we'll be needing resources to obviously unlock things. Let's uh, have a look at this random. It was... Event! Uh oh. I am choked by a coughing fit. That beast infected me, but it got the worst of it. However, I won't be getting better anytime soon unless I can find some medicine. Look what's happening. My last remedial potion went out yesterday. Drunk by an accidental travelling companion who was scratched by a spore head. My head is spinning, my mouth is dry, and I'm tormented by thirst. I turn off the road, hoping to find a stream. Uh, would you like me to? So, would you like me to cure you? Uh, cure an ailment. Yeah, why not? I'd like to get rid of freeze. Thank you very much. Guess dig some more resources, but time is steadily passing. See this? Every move on the region map takes one hour. Another one. Bit gift of ash. You acquired a recipe. Final flash. I'll take it. Dig. So this is going to be more medium. So we're kind of going to stick to the early stuff to start with, obviously. Yes, multiple different enemy types. Yeah, multiple different enemy types and creatures. Look at these imps. Okay, different to everything. Apply burn. Actually, what have we got? Burn you. Because you're weaker. Fireball you. And end my turn. Let's uh, discard you. Discard you for now. Between two to two damage for four turns, eh, I'll take it. Six to seven, five to six. So you've upped your strength, haven't you? Yes. That. Uh, hit you with that. Okay, end turn. Let's get rid of you. Actually, let's get rid of you for now. Let's return those. Actually, this isn't discarding. It's just returning, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not discarding. I'm just returning. Yeah, that card was a bad idea. Oh well. Taking some hits. I don't really want to have to use my potion because that would of course be some major issues. That was stupid of me. Should have hit that one with a 10. Oh, this one's dead next turn. That one's also dead next turn. And I can heal myself up for three of my points. There we go. Burn to death. Him. Perfect. So yeah, very much like Slay the Spy. Oh, a key. Okay, I obviously want to heal myself for that. Renew you, 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 and you. Hmm. Just got all cards in your hand, deal five damage for every card. It's a deck of ashes. Mm, powerful. Very powerful, but I would have to try and rebuild the whole deck. Let's do extra damage to yourself. So that requires doing five damage to myself to six to ten damage. Let's grab the pyro explosion. Uh, okay. Let's dig. Okay, there's a chest. Over there, we go through the center. Ambush! Oh. Here we go, we have a ghoul and a skeleton. Look at the designs, I love how stylized things are in this. Played or discarded. There we go. Burn. Fire. I'm running out of cards, I'm going to have to spend some health on this one. So you really have to keep an eye on what you're doing and what you're not doing. But this game is difficult. Very difficult. Because obviously you are fighting to a time limit, even if you don't feel like you are. That's the ghoul down.
I'm running out of stuff. Don't want to have to use their potion because then I'm going to have to heal heavily. I'll take the hit and hit him next turn. Oh. I have to go back, I think, and see what I can buy. Uh, why not? At least I have got that one. Oh, it's resurrected! Get away. Another key! Deals to an opponent. Let's grab that. Oh, I didn't heal! I didn't heal. As you can see, some of these battles are problematic. That is a problem. I didn't heal. Oh no, this is a tough one too. Okay, grab my stuff back. Okay, heal myself partially and hit the enemy. Oh, that was stupid of me. I didn't get my gear or heal. Oh well, I can heal back up from that, but that was a bit of an issue. Uh, fire. Ash. There we go. I'm very low on stuff now. I'll be able to kill them next turn though. Well, not after this turn. Next, next turn. Okay, and turn. That was stupid of me. I might just heal myself up and use the regeneration on the items from the actual camp. Oh! Okay, uh, continue. Back to camp. Ashdorm! Ashdorm has created anomalies. Quickly, quickly draw in their power before they disappear. This will give me new items and things if I go for them. If they were close enough, anyway. Oh, he's getting upset. It started to move. Okay, so let's renew my card. So as you can see, you can do it for free back at base. So you do want to come back repeatedly. Ignition to a copy all the burns applied to it and apply them to all the other opponents. Strain. Also deal 30 damage if I actually discard a card of my choice. It's fine out a random enemy when discarded. So if I use Cindering Ring and a scroll of incineration, I can discard my incineration, do five damage every turn. Don't have enough stuff to upgrade yet though. Okay. I didn't heal again, did I? Craft. Yeah. Need more. Hmm. We'll get there. I'll stop being stupid and we'll get there. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, as you can see, I can't grab that. There's one turn left. Okay, there's some gold. I'll take it. And. Oh, a sacrificial skull. Let's grab. So we have two days, I think, to do this. Oh, what we got? Okay, fire. Okay, what we got? So I need that to not be that. Let's hit you with a fireball, and we're going to save you for later. Obviously, I need that to not be um, here. All undead restores five health. How dare! Oh. He is not going down easy. Uh oh. As you can see at the top, it shows the speed. So I'm obviously faster than both of those, but yeah, it's not really too much of an issue. Oh. Take out you. You. He's gonna out. Damn it! Out heal me. I can heal up though, so that's always fine. But again, you have to kind of choose what you're doing. Because if I 
Let's see what we got. If I choose to go back to camp to get my stuff revived, that's another piece of my turn gone, which I could be using to do other things. So you have to make tactical choices. Because obviously, going back is the smart thing to do. But... Maybe never made it. But... Then, of course, it remains... Oh, my God. I might be closer to fighting the boss without any good gear. Which is always a problem. We're going to have to go back and talk. So, yeah, the game is very, very tactical. Not enough for upgrades. That's fine. Uh, upgrade resurrection much so that you're always resurrected at full health. Reduces the cost of renewing neutral cards in a tent to zero rest points. Allows ash choices and recipes created by an ash norm to stay on the regional map for an extra two turns. Yes. Very much yes. What have you got for an upgrade? Nothing useful yet. Uh... Okay, what have you got? Cindering ring. Why not? Not too useful, but you know, it's better than nothing for now. And I've bought you, so that's a problem. After you die, to the camp. Once a day, yeah, once a day. So as you can see, we have another few days left. Let's move down. I've got a key left, if I remember correctly. Let's go see what's in these unknowns. Oh. Next chest, next hour, require one more key to open. Oh. Okay, so that's a problem. I only have one key. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Take five turns. One, two, three, four. New day. Oh, he's getting more upset with me. Five. So that still needs to be done. Come on. So things are starting to happen, and viciously starting to happen, like really vicious. Oh, level one hanged man and the level one three face. Uh, hit you. Hit you. Extra 12 damage on a punch. Sod it. I have nine items in my deck. I may have to heal myself and kill myself. What is that? Your mana is used by two. Oh no. Uh, do that. Mm. Okay. Hit you and discard that. Heal me. Okay, lesser scales back on the field. What was that? Oh, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm going to die here. It's a very, very tough game. And also, I did make a really stupid tactical blunder at the very beginning. This discard, I think. Oh, I have three keys. Oh, never mind. That's still my thing. One mana less every fourth turn. I can't even get more stuff or else I'll kill myself. See, this is what the problem is. I can't get more things or else I will die. No, I can't get them. Okay. Um. Can't win. 
And you get these unwinnable situations by your own decision making. I because I can't get any more cards because I don't have the power. So now I have to die with honor. <laughs> However, I actually am enjoying this game a lot, even if I am not the best at it. I blame myself, really, with that healing and stuff I did earlier. But yeah, it's the cards. You have to make sure you got the right cards. I, have, I picked up too many. Do I let the enemy kill me or do I kill myself? Choices. But yeah, you have to choose the right cards for, obviously, your build. And I did not go for the right ones or get the right ones. You have to, like Slay the Spire, build a good build. So we'll be coming back to this. And I'll also probably come back to it being a bit more skillful because let's face it, I am going to be spending many, many hours in this game. I spent a long time on um, Slay the Spire. Oh well, let's kill myself. There they go. I know. I know. Thank you for telling me I lost. Should have bought the Resurrection Scroll one a day. Anyway, I have been the Fallen Shogun. This has been Deck of Ashes. As always, links will be in the description below. And of course, if you liked it, subscribe, like, join the Patreon, support the channel so we can get more epic games upon the channel. Either way, enjoyable, fun, deadly, slay the spirey, very fun. Ciao's for now, people. What are you? Are you? You look vaguely scaven, but more demonic. Bye bye.